Hey there, welcome back. I have something to show you and it blew my mind. This, this is a default test print from the Anycubic M3 Premium. <clears throat> Premium. This is a test print. It's the first thing I did on it. I loaded up some Anycubic resin and I, and I hit print and it blew my freaking mind. The M3 Premium has a 10.1 inch 8K LCD. Yeah, 8Ks. I put resin in this thing, I hit print, this is what popped out and I just, I can't believe my eyes. At, wait, 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 there's words. Sir, stay calm. Dear users, thank you for choosing Anycubic M3 Premium 8K high resolution resin printer. We hope you have a great experience with the printer. Team Anycubic. Holy cats. That's my thumbnail next to these words. This is so cool. I can't believe we could read those words. That's crazy. So I thought, okay, 10.1 inch LCD, 8Ks. This could be interesting. And I really wanted to throw something at it that had a lot of crazy detail. And uh, from my buddy, brother from another mother, Fotis Mint, he gave me Treebeard. Treebeard, some call me. And look at it. Look at Treebeard. Holy cats. This is insane. Look at the detail on this thing. It just took a few hours to print on the M3 Premium and that 8K LCD really shines when it comes to making things with great amounts of detail. You'll notice that it looks insane. Look at how awesome this machine was able to reproduce it. Just look at the leaves. Look at the leaves. That is that is the telltale sign right there. The leaves stick it out of the top of Treebeard. That is so, so cool. Boop. So I had an idea. With these two crazy mind-blowing models in front of me that exist now in meat space, what if we took the M3 Premium and its high-resolution LCD and we made some Christmas tree ornaments? And not just any, I want Jack Skellington. My Sandy Claus outfit. I want you to make it. The ornament I have in mind is by Vlado Turek, and it's over on printables.com, posted under the Joseph Prusa account. Look at it. Just look at it. It's Jack Skellington in all the detail needed, plus a beard, a freaking beard you get to attach to the ornament as well. This is so perfect for the M3 Premium and its high-res LCD. So here's the plan. Slice it up, get it on this machine, load in some Soraya Tech resin, and print it. Let's do it! There we go. It looks like we're done. This took, according to the LCD, four hours, 58 minutes. Just peeking in right here, it looks like the build plate held on exceptionally well. I'm always happy when that happens with a resin print and part of the reason why I like melting plastic more than resin is because you can tell a failure happens a lot sooner. So this one held on exceptionally well all around the raft. Really happy about that. No missed supports, no missed layers. It looks like we've got ourselves a great model to take a look at for the Christmas tree. I'm kind of really excited. So let's glove up, get it off the build plate, wash it, cure it, and then have a look. For this, I'm utilizing my Wham Bam Slap Mat to put it on. It's, it's, it's a great silicone mat, I'm not gonna lie. They sent it over for me to use. Thanks, Wham Bam. Just peeking at the detail here, now that it's off, I am impressed. I am really impressed, and I'm really excited to get this off the build plate. I've got a scraper here, let's do it. You wanna get under the raft a little bit, once you can. The rest of it just kinda slides right off. Now with any resin 3D printing, you wanna make sure you get all cured resin off the build plate, and it looks like some of the raft stuck. I'm just gonna do a quick little scrape. I'm gonna get this washed up. I'm gonna get the supports taken off, 
and then we are going to have our first look at Jack Skellington. A few hours later. Look at that. I am so impressed with this model that's Jack Skellington with the little add-on beard. You know, there's a little bit of uh, zits from the support, but it's not too bad and it's resin. So as long as you wear yourself a little respirator and some gloves, you can sand that away. Oh yes, look at, look at that. The, the beard kind of moves. This was printed using the Soriatek Fast Gray Resin. Again, on our M3 Premium right here. But wait, there's more. If you go to the webpage for Jack Skellington, it shows that the artist made other models and I printed them. In Prusament resin, I've got Krampus. You know that that silly little scary <laughs> Christmas creature. In that same Prusament resin, look at that. That's a stormtrooper right there. This is a stormtrooper Christmas tree ornament. Chris Perillo, eat your heart out, my friend. Now in any cubic resin, look at this. It's Cthulhu. Look at Cthulhu's wearing a Christmas hat. You can hang it from your tree. It's wonderful. Wouldn't be Christmas without Deadpool. There's Deadpool right there with a nice stocking cap and a way to hang it on your Christmas tree. How are you, Deadpool? Deadpool can't talk. Okay, guys, let's get out there and make a difference. How about this? The Grinch. The Grinch. Look how wonderful this turned out. This is amazing right here. Last and certainly not least, Joseph freaking Prusa. Yeah, the artist made a Joe Prusa Christmas tree ornament. Look at it, it's Jojo Potato with his Christmas hat on and a beard. No way, let's put it on. This is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. This is my friend Joseph Prusa with a big long Christmas beard and a Christmas hat to be a Christmas tree ornament. For Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! What's that? Wait, what's that, Joe? Adjust Live Z. I've always been a little bit anxious when using resin 3D printing because, like I said before, failures aren't easily detected right away like you do when you're melting polymers on a hot printer bed. But this has been a joy. The M3 Premium from Anycubic with its 10.1 inch 8K LCD has given me hope because I didn't experience failures with this machine. And I had joy when I was using it. And the models came out crispy and detailed, and I'm really happy with the results. These, I really wanna hang on my Christmas tree. I'm sure my wife will let me, but I'm willing to bet she and others are gonna tell me to finish these models. So here's the thing. Would you want to see me attempt to finish these Christmas tree ornaments? I really wanna leave it up to you. So let me know down in the comments how you want me to finish these wonderful models. Well, like I said, this was the M3 Premium for Anycubic. Big thanks for them for sending it over and giving me a chance to try it out. I really enjoyed my time with it. I utilized multiple resins, made a lot of really cool models, and just generally had a lot of fun. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all the things. And as always, high five.